This is what Queen said. Yo, this book is nuts. Laugh my ass off. I never paid attention to it. But since Clarence NYC did reactions, I'm flabbergasted. Laugh my ass off. Great fictional book, though. I'm talking about the people who sent me these messages talking about how Clarence was going in on me. No, he was not. Like, I really listened to his reaction, and he said a couple of things, but not really. What did he say? First of all, I was reading a book, right, that I did not write or have anything to do with, right? And he said, when it came to the part about him having a fifth grade reading level, he going to sit there and say um, something about the way I read, talking about something I was on an eighth grade reading level. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck you talking about how I read for a nigga? Like, because someone in the book said something about you not knowing how to read. Now, my thing is this. It's not like it's far-fetched. Like, on some real shit, he does seem like a person who needed help with reading. Like, listen, the way you talk is like you slow, but you it's like girls was overlooking the fact that you slow because they like the way you look. That's just my opinion, though. But I ain't say nothing. I ain't even say. My thing is this: when I was when I was reacting, I didn't see nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Um, they was a weekend's comebacks, but you was reading a book. But he was talking about you like you wrote it. That's what's so retarded to me. Like, bro, I did not write that shit. He called me a, a co-author. I said what? And then um, the other person, I don't know her. And um, he was playing her video in his part one. And she was saying Miss Barnes did not write that book. I'm glad she know that shit. So he was saying, like, how do you know who didn't write it, but you don't know who did write it? My thing is this now. Like, I have all kinds of emails. I need the book. You know, I have emails from people telling me a book was coming out. And, you know, we talking to them about it. I have DMs from people asking me if I heard about it when I never knew anything about a book. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with y'all, I don't have time for that shit. I be busy as hell. And from the people I do counseling with, I have actual clients, okay? I'm over there doing therapy with them, and then I'm trying to keep up with these YouTube videos. Remember I was telling y'all, like, I, I'm going to get better with, you know, uploading content because I, when you get paid to talk, it's kind of hard to... <laughs> doing these therapy sessions or spirit sessions, and then got to turn around and, and do YouTube content. I don't have time to write books. I really don't. If I did, I would be writing my own. And let me tell you something else. If I was clout chasing, I would have just said, yeah, yeah, I would have I would have just been like, I would have took the credit for it, but I didn't write it. And if I did, to be honest, it would be a lot more creative because I'm, a, I'm not saying it's something wrong with the book, but I'm a super creative person, okay? I'm just saying. Somebody said Queen wrote it. My thing is this. I think someone from his, you know, his squad may have wrote it. Somebody that may have told some things to. And that's just my opinion, okay? Let me see. Yeah, like, that's just that's just my opinion. Somebody he know. This is my thing about the book, right? What did I say in my video? I said it seemed like some of that stuff is true and some of that stuff is exaggerated. Like, what do you... Shit, y'all hear that beeping? That's the um the AirPods. Now, but my thing is, I wanted to take them off anyway, cause I rather just talk to y'all um using the iPhone mic. So let me get the let me put these AirPods back in the thing. Hold up. Let me see if they disconnect with no problem. Let me see if they disconnect. With no okay. I took the AirPods off. Can y'all hear me? I'm gonna need y'all to let me know if y'all can hear me on this regular, um, this regular iPhone mic. Cause you, you know how when you look at your picture up there on the stream yard, usually it be moving, so you can know that you have good audio. Like the audio is coming out, but it's not showing me nothing. Thank you, Lay Boo. Thank you. Let me see. I love those Golden Girls. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, went up fast. Hold up. Golden Girls probably wrote it. What? Hold on. <laughs> Um, Claire, Patty, Queen, and Lee, the Golden Girls. You know, I can't with you, Aries. I can't. He's only reacting to it not to look guilty. That laugh sounds suspect. You know what? I was thinking that, too. Like, some of the parts, he get real loud and, like, really into it. Like, especially the part about the reading problem. He got, like, you know, angry. You could tell. Oh, you know what? Other part about the um, abortion. 
he was like, you you don't know what people are going through in real life, and you shouldn't be saying stuff like that. And then he put Leslie Business out there talking about how she can't have kids, basically. He said it would have been impossible for her to get pregnant. But the way he was saying it, it made it seem like it made it seem like it could have been a miscarriage and not an abortion. But again, here we go with my opinion. Let me tell you why people be mad. Niggas be mad because I get paid for my opinion, but they have to stay in the motherfucking comment section and get other people paid. I'm starting to think that's what the problem is. Because I was smart enough to actually know how to make a YouTube channel and make that shit pop and get paid off my opinion. Think about that shit. Y'all are, like, people's comment sections be way worse than the shit that I say. You know what I'm saying? I go in the comment section, I'm like, damn. Like, whoa, these people have no chill, no type of, <laughs> people be disrespectful as shit. You know what I'm saying? And they be mad at me? Mm-mm. 